Sundays in New York can be a pleasant time, especially if you're among the Shea Stadium faithful who come to see another exciting chapter in the saga of the man with the eggshell knees. The man, of course, is Joe Namath. As he goes, so go the Jets. Facing the man last week was the machine, an awesome powerhouse built by head coach Don Shula. From a joke to challenger to the team to beat in just three years, Shula built his machine in a series of interchangeable parts. These parts have meshed to make Miami the only undefeated team in the NFL this season. The man went after the machine early by picking away at the underneath coverage in the Miami zone. Namath controlled Miami with a carefully measured 13-play drive, which culminated in a one-yard touchdown to give the Jets an early 7-0 lead. But the machine and its component parts purr with efficiency. Once in a while, graceful Paul Warfield, number 42, is not absolutely perfect. But the Dolphins do not depend on only one man. Shula can pluck a spare part like Howard Twilley from the bench and never miss a beat. Twilley's touchdown catch put Miami on the board, but it's the heavy-duty flywheels at the heart of that machine that really makes it unstoppable. Iron Man Larry Zonka ripped through the Jets for 102 yards. And twin piston Jimmy Kick blasted in for two touchdowns to give Miami a commanding lead. But you know you can never count the man out. Jerome Barkham was ruled down on the six-inch line where it was first and goal. There was a time when a touchdown from inches was a foregone conclusion against the Dolphin defense, but this series demonstrated how far Shula has brought his team. They rose up to stop New York three straight times. Namath even gave it a crack, but the Jets had to settle for a field goal. New York was still in the ballpark with Miami ahead 27-17. But the potential Namath fourth quarter rally never came off. In the end, it was machine over man. As Joe Namath goes, so go the Jets. Namath went down this time, but he will be back to try it again in Miami next month. Today, Don Shula's component parts were too much as Miami remained undefeated and moved two full games ahead in the AFC East. We, Bubank, and the rest of the coaches in the division can only hold on and hope now for a breakdown. <laughs>